Hey, what's going on everybody? It's ETA Prime back here again. This is going to be a quick one, but I wanted to get it out of the way because uh, now we have official gamepad UI for Steam on Windows and Linux. So you can do this on your desktop or your laptop. You don't need a Steam Deck to do this. Valve just rolled out a beta update that allows us to kind of swap over to gamepad UI. And hopefully this is going to be replacing big picture mode because, you know, that is definitely looking a bit old now. But this has full support for gamepads, so uh, if you're using something like an Xbox controller or maybe a third party with uh, one of those home buttons, it's really easy to get over to our settings. I'm just going to press that one time. Go to our library, store, I mean basically just like the Steam Deck. We've also got a hotkey for in-game settings. Press that home button and A at the same time. It'll bring up our settings over here on the left hand side. Now we can't change the TDP or anything like that on our PC, but there are a few little things built in, like uh, showing an FPS counter. Right now it's going to be the old Steam FPS counter, which was quite small, but we can go to high contrast mode if you need to. And overall, it's actually been a pretty smooth experience. Now I completely understand that we could have done this in the past with a little bit of messing around in an INI file, but now this is coming over to the official bait and soon it's probably going to be rolling out on the stable channel, but in this video I'm going to show you how to enable it. It's actually really easy to do. So if you want to get this set up all you got to do is follow along and we're going to go ahead and move over to another PC that I haven't done this on yet. Okay so if you want to set this up it's actually really easy to do. Obviously you're going to need Steam installed. There's actually two steps to this right now. First one is enabling the Steam beta and we can do that by going up to Steam, Settings, and right here, beta participation. So I'm not participating on this PC yet, but I'm going to go ahead and change that. Steam beta update. Choose OK. We'll need to restart Steam. It's going to download that beta, extract it, and install it. Okay, so now that we're participating in the Steam beta, we need to go ahead and close this down one time. We're going to completely exit Steam and we want to find our Steam shortcut. We're going to right click, Properties, and right here, we're going to add space dash gamepad UI. It's on screen now. Choose Apply, and you may get a warning. Mine isn't giving me the warning, but uh, you know, first time you do this, it might let you know that you've just changed something. Once you've agreed to that, we'll choose OK. And now every time we start up Steam, you'll have the new Gamepad UI interface. And supposedly, this is going to be replacing Big Picture Mode, which is definitely in need of a change. It's just looking a bit dated. But this does work really well with controllers. And now it's official. I know it's in beta right now, but it's actually been working really well. And it's easy enough to switch back. So if you don't want to use this anymore, we're just going to exit. We're going to go back to our shortcut. We're going to right click. Properties and we're going to remove that dash gamepad UI. You can also opt out of the beta. It'll bring you back to the stable version of Steam, but it's super easy to do and it's worth giving it a shot. But that's it for this one. Super easy to do. Let me know in the comments below if this is something you're going to be switching over to from big picture mode. And like always, thanks for watching.